My video for November the 25th, 2019 is number 3,285. The title is Vitamin B17 and the Federal Control Freaks. <laughs> G. Edward Griffin's testimony on vitamin B17 deficiency and cancer at the International Tribunal for Natural Justice was another eye-opener for me. B17, also known, I have to put the N unknown, <laughs> also known as amygdalin and laetrile, is a case in point. Edward Griffin provides evidence describing cancer as a deficiency disease, aggravated by the lack of an essential food compound in the modern human diet. The lacking substance is vitamin B17. In its purified form developed for cancer therapy, it is known as Laetrile. Dr. John A. Richardson had great success pioneering the use of Laetrile in his Richardson Clinic in Albany, California in the 1970s. After his great results, he wrote the book, Laetrile Case Histories, along with Patricia Griffin, RN, and wife of renowned speaker and writer, G. Edward Griffin. For me, any title with the word federal in it is suspect. It might be more accurately changed to fraud, since most things the government does have a very dark agenda. Of course, this includes the Federal Reserve and the FDA, Federal Drug Administration. At the insistence of the drug industry in America, they outlawed Laetrile, and Dr. Richardson was stripped of his doctorate and went to jail where I assume he died. Today, Laetrile cannot be ordered in the United States. It's interesting. I had heard about vitamin B17 and stuff some period back, maybe a few years ago or something, and I didn't do anything, but when I was sent the uh, uh, Inter International Tribunal for Natural Justice, uh, thing that's going on now in, uh, I guess, in Europe. Uh, I was especially interested in, in G. Edward Griffin's testimony. And when he talked about cancer cures, I realized that the American Medical Association or the Federal Drug Administration, they don't want cures. They want to keep making money from treatments. The prescription drug industry is one of the major industries other than war in the United States. And it, it makes its money by keeping people sick. Now it treats symptoms. I'm not going to tell you that the pharmaceutical industry doesn't have drugs that treat symptoms, but often the symptoms come back. And people that have used radiation and other therapies to treat cancer, it goes into remission apparently, or it kills the cancer, but then it comes back with a vengeance twice as bad as it was before. Now, Dr. Um, Dr. Uh, Richardson, he first experimented on animal, on a, on a dog that was dying of cancer, and he gave it uh, uh, Laetrile, and the cancer uh, went away and the dog lived, uh, uh, I don't know how long more, but lived a lot longer. And then somebody heard about it and said, my wife is dying of, of, of cancer. They've given her at the most months to live. Uh, can, can you try that on her? And they did and the cancer disappeared and she lived several more years. Uh, and then he opened his clinic and started treating people, but the government came in and shut down his clinic and again, brought him up on charges of practicing, uh, well, he wasn't practicing medicine without a license, but he was doing things that were, uh, uh, he was prescribing things that weren't approved <laughs> as, part of the, as part of the medical establishment's approval rate because they want to make money off of, repeat customers. Cure is not their game plan. They do not want people cured of anything. They want to keep us sick. When are we going to wake up? And 
the federal government is involved in that. And then you look at what's going on with Donald Trump and how much they dislike him. He's at least a legitimate office holder. Now, I know Lincoln was the first, the first attorney, bar attorney, to become president in the United States. And he did a lot of good things. I'm not going to downplay him at all. Trump would go down in history as the greatest president of all time if he can survive. If he can survive. And they want to kill. There's people that want to kill him. He has risked his life. And he, he doesn't even take a salary. He, he pays his own way. He doesn't need the money, folks. He did it for us. Now, do I trust Trump on everything? I certainly do not. I don't trust his alliance with Israel, for example. I don't trust that. Uh, I don't like the fact that he's moved the capital to Jerusalem. I, I don't like what, the, what Isra the Israelis are doing in stealing land from the Palestinians, who are true Semitic people. They were born Semites, remember. Uh, they come from the same root family. There were two branches of it. Uh, and one became the Arabs and the other became the Israelis, okay? That's biblical history as I understand it. Now, how much has been doctored? I can't answer that question because a lot of things have been doctored that I couldn't see, as I've said again and again in many videos. And I'm not against any group of people but I am opposed to those that continually tell lies and those that make money their game. Money was a, a, a creation to keep humanity enslaved without humanity realizing the enslavement. Now, I have nasty letters from a, a lady, I'm assuming it's a lady, who keeps telling you that white people and Africans need to get out of our country speaking of the United States or of the American continent. This is our country, get out. And she's very angry. She's very angry. That doesn't accomplish anything to be angry. We need to be able to talk. It's okay to, to speak loudly, but to start yelling at each other and start pointing fingers and saying, you're wrong, that doesn't accomplish anything. I tried to find a supplier. I take a lot of vitamins and supplements. I tried to find a supplier of Laetrile or B17 in the United States. I am consolidating all of my supplements to one manufacturer and they do not even list it. And certain, and certain doctors that are well known, Dr. Wheel and, and others, that are well known have said that it's bad. And it, does it contain a poison? Yes, it does contain a poison. And it kills cancer. It brings balance. It's all about quantities and administration. How is it given to the patient? Uh, how much is given to the patient? There are case histories of absolute cures of cancer, where people, as I said, have lived for years after they were given a death sentence. And we need, we need somehow to have divine intervention where the dark forces that have lied to us for such a long time are brought either to repentance or to some kind of incarceration or separation from the rest of life. They have infested humanity and perhaps other planets, but certainly Earth. And it has to stop. I want my life to count. I want my life to mean something. And it's not going to happen unless we can have not change to believe in, but unless the swamp is drained and righteousness rules. Thank you folks for listening and namaste.